patients, my name is Dr. Sam, and sorry I'm a little quiet, um, I don't know if people can hear me, but um, so I started college recently, and I'm here to tell you about my experience. So first of all, I moved in with my mom, you guys saw that in my last video, hopefully if you didn't check it out, what the fuck are you doing here? Get caught up. I met my roommate, and my roommate is really kind of awesome. She's really, really cool, and um, uh, more on that later. I have so much to say and not that much storage, so I'm going to try to get this as fast as I possibly can. Okay, so first of all, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel, if you're one of my friends, because let's face it, no one watches my channel. Last year you will have known that I posted a video of a drag show that happened here at this college. And yeah, I met a couple of the drag queens, um, one of them's name is Dakota, and he's so nice, he's awesome, he's got this deadpan voice on all the time, and he's just... He's really funny and awesome, and um, he's one of the RAs here, and the other one that I met, um, uh, he he actually works in the cafeteria, and he's so nice, he's such a sweetheart, and every time he sees me, he compliments my makeup, so that was really nice. My first day moving into the dorms, um, I was I was just presenting masculine, and then the next day when I came in, I was actually in drag, and then I had people actually introduce themselves to me for the second time because they didn't recognize me. So that's how you know you do um, convincing drag. There's always something really weird that goes on in college. I feel like that's kind of like an experience that everyone has. So um, I take the stairs to get up to my room because my room's on the third floor, and the first day on the bottom floor, um, there was a spoon, like just a plain spoon, like on the first floor, like it was just there for no reason. And then the next day came up and it had gotten up a flight of stairs. Someone had moved it, like I would have understood it if it was on a higher floor and someone, you know, accidentally kicked it and it was on a different floor, but it was moved up a flight, so I was like, what the fuck? And then the next day, someone had propped it up in the corner, and then I, um, went back downstairs later on and someone had set it <laughs> on one of the stairs I thought it was gonna be like a running joke and I actually went to go see where it was like really late at night and um, my RA was coming up as I was going to see it and she goes like what are you doing here like late at night like in your like your day clothes like what's going on and I'm just like oh I'm just going downstairs she's like okay and <laughs> my, my RA is actually really cool and um and then I uh, went down and it wasn't there anymore, so that was disappointing. And I was gonna draw a face on it too and make it sentient, but it wasn't there, so, but shit happens. My classes are all really cool. I'm an illustration major, so I have a lot of art classes. And in one of my classes, there's actually a kid named Nicolas Cage, and I was so convinced that he was joking with everyone, but he wasn't. And um, so that was. It's I got a guy named Nicholas. I got Nicholas Cage in uh, one of my classes, so that's so that's really neat. And I hadn't even been taking classes for two days yet, and they and they had bumper cars and a wipeout station for that was free for anybody to try out. I was like, what the actual hell is going on? Now more on my roommate, so first of all I have to tell the whole story because it's not going to be as funny if I don't tell the whole story. So basically, um, for a while now I've been going like out places with my friend Haley and um, Tyler, Tyler the Volume Burr. Uh, <laughs> he's great, he's he's really loud. But anyways, and every time we go someplace, we bas me and Tyler basically whine and like start screaming, let's go to rock and jump, I want to go to rock and jump, and we basically make Haley's life miserable. If you don't know what Rock and Jump is, it's like an indoor trampoline park. Um, it's kind of local around here, so that's cool. And she doesn't want to go on the trampoline, so we just basically bug her, like, I want to go to Rock and Jump, and we scream <laughs> every time we get in the car, like, let's go to Rock and Jump, and it annoys her so much. And then one day it was just me and Haley, and we were going to Party City. And we were, she was getting stuff done, like, in the in the car before we went out. I said, oh my god, we're right next to Rock and Jump, let's go. And she's like, oh my god, no. And then I just kind of zoned out, and then she was like, stop looking at it. And I focused on whatever I was looking at, and I said, it was a sign that said, book your party today. So I was like, Haley, we have to go for my birthday. And she's like, oh my god, I hate my life. And so the other day, I was talking to my roommate, and she asked me what I do um, for my job, and I told her I, I um, sell sunglasses, and she she goes, and I'm like, okay, what do you do? And she goes, like, I work at Rock and Jump. And I'm like, really? And then she goes, like, yeah, I could actually hook you up with some free passes. I'm like, oh my god. 
Haley's gonna hate me and it's gonna be great. So I got free passes to Rock and Jump and I'm really excited. And my roommate is so cool. She's so chill and I'm so grateful that I actually have a roommate that I like. So that that's like, you know, it just helps. We also have an anime club and I'm kind of a weeb. And on the first day we watched, um, we watched Attack on Titan, which is my favorite show. So I was living, but I was kind of not living because it was the dub and I can't stand the dub but then we watched uh, Death Parade which is amazing and that was really great so the anime club was really fun then we had a hypnotist show the night before classes started and my friend Casey oh I made a friend named Casey he's really cool um, so I was in the front row right I was I was actually ahead of the front row because I was sitting at a table so like and he got up and got hypnotized because you want to get hypnotized so bad and they were doing the segment where um, uh, it was like a Jerry Springer thing and they had to introduce themselves um, call out somebody they knew personally in the crowd and then make up a, a dirty habit or um, or a bad habit or a, a fetish <laughs> and um, they got they got to Casey and they and he goes like, hi, my name's Casey, and he said, and who are we here to talk about? And then he says, my name, and I'm like, what the fuck could he be talking about? I'm asexual, like, I don't have any weird kinks or fetishes or anything like that. What could he possibly make up? And he knew that, too. So I'm like, well, what could he make up? It can't be that bad. And everyone was like, some, some really tame fetishes, like, or just like, mildly embarrassing stuff. Casey went all out with his lie like he goes okay and what's wrong with your friend and he points me out and he goes like we've been hanging out a lot a few days and I don't mean to assume but I'm pretty sure he's a necrophiliac and I'm like I kind of screamed and I'm like are you fucking kidding me that's what you went with and it turns out he did that because um me and him and several other people were playing cards against humanity um, several times before this and every time I volunteered to um, pick up all the cards after every round so I called myself like the grave digger because I was like taking away the dead cards and so everyone called me the grave digger because I volunteered to do it every time um, and so that seeped into his subconscious and he like associated that with like necrophilia <laughs> so I'm like oh great that it's wonderful. Thanks, Casey. I'm actually gonna insert a clip right now of a part from the hypnosis show because it was really funny. If you became a rug, we call you that. Um, <laughs> your name? Shafi. Shafi, what's your power? A shit greatness. <laughs> your shit greatness? You are? Fart girl. Fart girl, what's your power? My fart puts people to sleep. You what? <laughs> My fart puts people to sleep. Your farts put people to sleep? You are? Deku. Deku? Yeah. What's your power? One for all. One for all? Okay. You are? Landman! Landman, what's your power? Made out of lanyards. What? Made out of lanyards. Made out of lanyards, okay. You are? Toilet man. Yo, what's your power? I shit on niggas. There was, um, where he made someone, everyone believe that this guy's belt was a snake, but only when he made the noises of a snake. And so he gave the guy's belt back, and he told him to put it back on, and he started making s and then the guy freaked out because he was so convinced that it was a real snake. And then he did it again, like, told him to put it back on, and he said sleep. So you saw the guy, like, start to freak out, and then he went under, and, like, it was so funny. And then he hypnotized everyone to believe that he was the sexiest woman that um, they had ever seen. And the thing is, with every um, idea that he hypnotized them with, he would go and talk to each one individually. Um, and like, you know, they would wait to talk to him. But this time, as soon as he turned around, a guy didn't even wait. He shot up and talked and started flirting with him immediately. And then this other guy did something similar, like he... Like, as soon as he got up to him, he, like, got in his space and, like, started flirting with him. And the same guy who shot up to, like, as soon as he turned around, he was like, okay, no, 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 no. I got a problem with this. It was so funny. Um, if I could find his name, I'm going to, uh, 
put a link to a website or something like I think it was on America's Got Talent I'm not sure um, but I'll put that in the description below if I could find something for that and then this didn't happen at college but uh, I've been working at a tattoo convention these past a couple days uh, the same one that I worked at last year if you remember um, and I met this guy and he was so nice and he he talked to me about um, crystals because he was selling crystals and you guys know me I love crystals and rocks and I've, I kind of have a problem where did I put it okay and um, he was saying like how he didn't do it for money and he was just there to move the rocks to where they needed to be and then he took this one and he goes like this one of these needs to go home with you you take this and he gave me this one you can't even see how lovely it is but it's so beautiful and he just gave it to me I, I told him I can't I can't do that I don't have any money he goes like no it's it's yours it's take it and I'm like thank you so much and then he showed me over to vegetables that he grew himself and he goes like same with these like people like food is something that everyone needs everyone needs nutrients everybody needs um, nutrition basically and then before I could even give him an answer on whether or not I wanted it, anything he was like piling stuff in my hands and like this is one of the cucumbers that he gave me he gave me a few cucumbers and some acorn squash and he it was just he just did it to be nice and like because he could and it, it was just a good person and it was absolutely freezing the past few days and he goes like yeah I know it's really cold but no matter how cold it gets don't let it reach your heart and I'm like, that, some people might think it's cheesy or like hippie-ish, but that really like inspired me and it was really nice to meet him. So yeah, that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll leave all my social media in the link in the description below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or leave a comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.